Welcome back to C++ Discussions. Today we are going to discuss about namespaces. Last session we were discussing about what is a namespace and why we need a namespace. Today we are going to discuss how we can access the elements of a namespace. I am using the same old example. I have two namespaces. Namespace A with one element G which is equal to 10 and one function in it. I have one more namespace, namespace B with a variable g which is equal to 200 and the same function name I am using over here also. Now we can study how we can access the elements or how we can access the content of a namespace. We can access the content of a namespace with help of either with help of scope resolution operator or with help of using keyword. So we have two methods for accessing the content of a namespace. One is with help of scope resolution operator and other one is with help of using keyword. Now I, can, I will show you how we can access the content of a namespace with help of scope resolution operator. This operator which is known as scope resolution operator. You have to read this operator as this thing which is not belong to the current scope which is belong to the scope of what is available in the right hand side of this operator. This is not belong to the current scope which is belong to the scope of this. Now we can check how we can access the content of the namespace A. Here I am writing, I am just C outing, C out. I wanted to access this G. So compiler is internally renaming this G as A underscore G. Now I am going to access this G with the help of scope resolution operator. You have to write this G which is not belonging to the current scope current scope means which is belong, not belonging to the scope of main which is belonging to the scope of A this is the way you can access the content of namespace A you have to tell G is not belong to the current scope which is belong to the scope of A now you can hear and tell so output will be 10 Now compiler is internally considering this line as a underscore g. Now you see there is no confusion at all. Compiler is understanding this g which is a underscore g. Now assume I have a local variable int g which is equal to 50. I wanted to print this local variable g which is equal to 50. Here you can simply write c out g. And so which will print this local variable so you, you have a chance for using local variable as well as the local variable which is present inside this next space as you might have a global variable that global variable also you can print now please can, uh, re recollect what is the name handling if you are able to recollect the concept of name handling you can access the namespace elements simply by using a scope resolution operator the compiler is renaming this variable as a underscore g. So you have to recollect how the compiler is renaming this variable. Compiler is renaming this variable as a underscore g. So with the help of scope resolution operator, you can directly access the content of namespace a. This is the method. So you can have a local variable also. So you can directly access the local variable. If ever you are taking something like this, which will print the local variable. Now you are directly telling to the compiler, I am going to print the G, which is into the local scope. Now with the first scope resolution operator, you are telling this G, which is not belong to the current scope, which is belong to the scope of namespace A. This is the method, it's a direct method. Now we can study how we can access the namespace elements with the help of using keyword. We have a using keyword. You can access the namespace elements with the help of using keyword also. You can use the using keyword in two ways. One is with the help of declarative method. And other one which is with the help of directive method. You can use using keyword in two ways. One is with a declarative method and second one is with the help of a directive method. I can show you how we can write a declarative method. 
Here I am writing L declarative method. I wanted to access this G, so I am going for this declarative method. We can see what is the syntax of a declarative method. Here you have to write using a scope resolution G. Now after this, whenever you are trying C out of G, which will print that? Here I am simply trying C out of G and that will this will print it then. this is the syntax of declarative method so you have to recollect declarative method is as similar like you are declaring this g inside the scope of main that is the meaning that means here compiler is internally considering this line as you are declaring a underscore g inside the scope of main now if ever you are trying something like here assume you are trying end g which is equal to 50 now compiler will give you an error because inside the scope of main there is two declarations which is g which is not at all allowed which is a multiple declaration error but in previous example with help of scope resolution operator you can declare a local variable with the same name but with help of declarative method you cannot declare a local variable with help of same name because this line for compiler compiler is treating this line as a declaration of a variable g which is inside the namespace a that is the difference between de declarative method and scope resolution operator method Redeclaration is not allowed in this method. Now we have another way for accessing the namespace element that is with the help of directive method. Directive method is quite simple, which will be you can use using namespace a. Now after that, whenever you are printing g, you are directing the compiler like if ever you want to get some value you go to this namespace and collect that value that is the meaning of directive method you are just directing to the compiler that if ever you want to access some elements you go to this namespace there that elements will be available for example here i am printing c out g again i am invoking the function in it the meaning is now i am printing the value of g i am directing the compiler that if you want to print the value of g you go to the namespace a there you will get the element now the output will be 10 here now i am invoking the member i am invoking the function in it i am telling to the compiler that if you want to invoke the member function in it you go to the namespace A, there one init function is available. So compiler is internally interpreting this init as A underscore init and compiler is internally interpreting this G as A underscore G. So there is no confusion at all. This is known as directive method. In the directory method also, you can have a scope of a local variable int g which is equal to 100. Now compiler is getting confused over here also. Now, since there is a local variable, local variable have higher privilege everywhere, so local variables are getting printed over here. If you want to avoid all the confusion, better to go for a scope resolution operator. But in the scope resolution operator method, everywhere you have to use the complex syntax scope resolution operator. So this syntax is somewhat pretty simple, but there is some chances for the confusion. So the question it will be like, which method is more simpler? The answer is, all methods are equally important. It is depend on the scenario, you can use either scope resolution operator or you can use using keyword. Again, you can use using keyword in two ways, either with the help of a declarative method or with the help of a directive method. I am repeating the whole things which will be live. You can access the namespace elements with help of scope resolution operator or with help of using keyword. Again, you can 
use the using keyword in two ways either with the help of a declarative method or with the help of a directive method declarative method is similar like as similar like you are declaring a variable inside the particular scope directive method is you are just suggesting to the computer like so you want to access something you go to that namespace and get that elements that's the meaning hope you have understood the concept this session is 11.2 Again, I will be continuing the namespace element or namespace concept in following sessions. If uh, you have any questions or any comment, please write me. Thank you for watching the channel. Thank you.